So what is body armor and how is it constructed? We're gonna talk about the primary materials used in the construction of body armor. First is it what's called an aramid material, which is used in soft armor, commonly seen in Kevlar style vests. There's also ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, which we just refer to as poly. There's steel used in hard armor, and there's also ceramic, which is used in hard armor. Soft armor is designed to protect against pistol rounds, but not rifles. Soft armor will not stop a rifle round. Hard armor, the rigid hard plates, are required to stop a rifle. Neither are standardly tested against fragmentation. Neither are standardly tested against stabbing or cuts. So let's talk about what's used in soft armor. This is what's called an aramid material. Aramid is simply a synthetic fiber, which has a very high strength to weight ratio. Now, these fibers, as you can see here, are then woven into a sheet, into an actual panel, and then panels are stacked together in a certain fashion to create an armor panel. The two most commonly used aramid materials used in soft armor are Kevlar and Tuaron. Whenever a projectile strikes a soft armor panel, it essentially catches the bullet. It deforms the bullet and catches and then stretches in the direction of energy. Now, the performance of a soft armor panel varies a lot on its construction, how it's layered by changing the orientation of the aramid fibers and aramid panels, it can increase the performance. Uh, armor companies use different widths and different styles of aramid material placed together and that can increase the performance of the ballistic panel. The North American Rescue soft armor package is made of Tuaron and unidirectional Tuaron and it's stacked in a certain orientation that maximizes performance and yet is very lightweight. The next type of armor material we're gonna talk about is polyethylene. Polyethylene is essentially put together just like these aramid fibers, although it has a much higher strength to weight ratio than aramid material, as much as 40%. And what they do with this polyethylene is they weave it into a fabric and then often laminate it into sheets or press it in a large hydraulic press, which creates the hard armor rifle plates. So polyethylene is lighter than steel or ceramic, but it doesn't stop some of the more common rifle rounds that we face. Because of that, a ceramic front face is needed on the front of that polyethylene to stop some of the more common rounds. Whenever a bullet strikes poly, it essentially catches and then deforms the bullet just like an aramid material. By deforming the bullet, it increases the surface area on the round, which then makes it easier for the layers behind it to stop the projectile. Steel is another option for a hard rifle plate. Steel is effective at stopping many rounds, but it is also very heavy. Ceramics are an option on the front face. We have a ceramic front face on the front of this plate, which is lighter than steel and harder and has better energy absorption. Ceramic and steel both function by deforming the bullet or breaking it up into smaller segments, which are then easily caught by the armor material behind it. Rifle plates are a balance. Steel is cheaper, but it's also very, very heavy. Polyethylene is very light, but does not stop some of the more common rounds. A compromise between a heavy steel plate or a heavy full level four plate would be something like this North American Rescue plate. What we have here is a hybrid style plate, which is a polyethylene plate that has a ceramic front face. This creates a very lightweight plate at about four pounds. It's very thin, but it also stops some of the more commonly used rifle rounds and some of the armor piercing rounds that we see on the street. And it gives you a plate that is comfortable. It's light enough to where you can wear it every day. Let's talk about the shapes and sizes of rifle plates. A standard rifle plate is 10 inches wide by 12 inches long. It's designed to cover the torso, is what's referred to as the cardiac box, where the vital organs lie. Now, a lot of people wonder about the sizing of the plate. The rifle plate is there to protect your vital organs, or the cardiac box, while you're in a standing position and performing your job duties. If the plate were too long, it would restrict your range of motion and interfere with your ability to sit down and stand up. A standard rifle plate is 10 inches wide, which is defined by the width of the shoulders. For most people, if it were any wider, it would cause a pinch point at your shoulders and interfere with the ability for your arms to cross center line. Historically, there have been several different shapes for rifle plates. Square plates limited your shoulder mobility because they caused pinch points 
at the shoulder, which is why most plates today have an angular cut to them. This is what's known as a shooter's cut plate. The shape of the plate has been optimized to allow for a greater range of motion. So a swimmer's cut plate essentially has a deeper angle cut into the top of the base to allow for a full range of motion. This was essentially designed by the Navy so that operators could wear rifle plates and still get full range of motion while they're swimming. Now, some believe that this would be a better plate because it allows for a greater range of motion, but everything is a compromise. We want to maximize ballistic protection and still be able to do your job. Most people opt for a shooter's cut plate because it provides maximum protection and yet still allows for the optimal range of motion. The other profile of cut that you may see is known as a sappy or an e-sappy cut, very similar to a shooter's cut. And this was the terminology initially used by the military when they transitioned from a square cut to an angular cut to allow for greater range of motion. North American Rescue offers a shooter's cut plate, which provides the greatest range of motion and the maximum ballistic protection available. The NAR ceramic and polyethylene plate is constructed with a thin ceramic front face and polyethylene. It's a certified NIJ level three plus plate, which means it's been tested for additional special threats. Standard plate is 10 by 12 shooters cut. It is a standalone plate, multi-strike and single curve. It's approximately one inch thick, 4.3 pounds. It's a durable plate and it's sealed from liquids with a protective exterior and it has a 10 year warranty. The NIJ special threats include a 5.56 55 grain standard ball ammunition, referred to as M193. It's also special threat tested against the so-called green tip round, or M855. The AK-47 armor piercing rounds, 123 grain and BZ round, along with larger Soviet rounds, 7.62 by 54R. One of the more common rounds available for the AR-15 is known as the M855. During the last decade or so during the ammunition scares, it was often the cheapest and most widely available ammunition on the market. It's a military round and often referred to as a green tip because it has a steel penetrator in the middle of the projectile. Now the steel projectile will perforate most standard polyethylene plates, which caused the armor industry to essentially create a armor level referred to as a three plus. This hybrid plate has a ceramic front face that is bonded to polyethylene. And during the NIJ testing, there's actually a drop test that is part of the passing test in which they affix the plate to a large pendulum and it's done in a very controlled fashion and then essentially dropped against a hard face to ensure that it doesn't crack or fracture in any way. Because of this durable construction, which we just discussed, these are incredibly durable plates. And we often get questions if, if they're going to be durable enough for a fire department or for EMS use. And, and the answer is absolutely yes. These, these plates are constructed for SWAT teams, for the military as well. Uh, they endure a great deal of abuse. And this drop test ensures that for normal standard usage, these plates are gonna be durable and last a very long time. The NAR steel rifle plate special threats through the NIJ include the 5.56 or AR-15 round, standard ball ammunition, which is considered the M193 up to 3,000 feet per second, the M855 or so-called green tip round, along with the AK-47 123 grain mild steel core. The North American Rescue steel rifle plate is made of AR-500 steel. It's a certified NIJ level three plus plate, which means it has special threats included. Standard plate is 10 by 12 shooters cut. It's a standalone plate, multi-strike single curve. It's only five millimeters thick, 6.9 pounds. It has a polyurethane coating, which protects it against liquids and also has a 10 year warranty. Armor is always a compromise and weight is absolutely a factor. So when you take into account a steel plate such as this, that is almost seven pounds versus other options, which are closer to four pounds, you've almost cut your weight in half. And remember you're wearing two plates. In the business, we say ounces equal pounds. So anywhere that you can cut weight, if you're going to be wearing ballistic protection on a daily basis is very important. For more information on this and other premium products with a mission from North American Rescue, visit narescue.com, follow us on social media, or sign up for our newsletters to join the mission.